Hi Internet, this is Ryan, and this is my vlog on life after college. Oh my gosh, where did the time go? It's so crazy, it doesn't feel like 10 years to me, it feels more like 3 to 4. I can't believe it, just like imagine doing something for 10 years. Back then, I was like one year out of college. I was doing internet marketing. I had a roommate and I was filming on my iPhone. This is my camera. It's my actually my iPhone 4. I had started my YouTube channel because I was such a big fan of the other daily vloggers. Your job is basically to have a fun day every single day and share it with everybody else. I really wanted to make the vlog a place where you guys could hang out with me. We could experience what life was like in the Bay Area and really it was a place to inspire and share with you guys that there are really a lot of different possibilities after college. I went to an Ivy League school and at the time my mindset was really about like you need to study really hard to get into a good school and then you can work really hard and get a really good job. And it wasn't until after I had graduated where I discovered that it was a lot more inspiring for me to do something that I really enjoyed and that I liked to do and then find a way to make a living off of that. Since 10 years ago, I have switched apartments twice. My first apartment actually was a two bedroom, two bath, and if you remember, I had a roommate at the time. But now, my roommate is Gatsby. So, a lot of my artwork in my apartment also has Gatsby, and it's a lot of artwork from you guys. In the past 10 years, I have done quite a lot of cooking videos, cooking challenges, cooking videos for Gatsby. If I were to choose the most important thing to have, I would still say rice cooker and then air fryer. Those are like, you can get away with so much cooking just with them. We have our YouTube play buttons for reaching 100,000 subscribers on my channel and Gatsby's channel. My big achievements. <laughs> have our Hawaii picture in the background because I'm from Hawaii. That's where I grew up and that's my background. And then we have our giant pile of toys here. All set by you guys. What are you doing, Gatsby? Here, there's a ball right here. Are you gonna put it inside? There you go. This is one of my biggest purchases that I made when I moved to this larger apartment. It's a love sack sectional where you can change the shape of the couch. So you can just clamp them in whatever shape you want. If you're reminiscing about my old vlogs and um, the furniture I used to have, it's all in my office now. This was the coffee table that I originally had in my old place. I filmed quite a lot of videos on here. And I have my sofa over here. It's still in super, super good condition. Whenever my friends or somebody comes over to stay, I can stay over here. Originally, my old vlogs, I did all my editing in my bedroom, like at a small, tiny little desk with a chair. Now I have an, an actual office. This was like another exciting thing. I got a standing desk. I always wanted one, especially after sitting at that other computer for so long. He's sitting on my standing mat. These are the current shirts that we are promoting. So that's the shirts that I have over here, all folded up nicely. When I first started filming, I didn't think that I would have like all this merchandise. And then when I started to have merchandise, I was storing everything in my room. I like stored all the shirts behind the doors, stacked up in my bedroom so that it wouldn't get in the way of filming. And my parents were like, this is no way to live where you're just like living in all the merchandise and then shipping everything out from my dining room table um, to now where I actually have like a full room and like tons of shelves filled with merchandise. It's really crazy. You've come a long way from there. Whenever somebody purchases any merchandise or I run into somebody who's like has the merchandise, um, it just makes me feel so good. Because <laughs> it, it reminds me of like the clothes that you bought was stored in my underneath my bed. And I was like full I actually folded this all in my living room. The amount of support and everything, it's just it's so nice to like have that all recognized and see people actually enjoying, you know, what what we put out. We have a bathroom here. The bathroom that I use. The other one is the one that gets me uses. So I have two bathrooms now. I have upgraded my shower head. Look at this, almost as wide as the entire bathtub. I just need to go underneath for like a few seconds and I'm like drenched. In the comments below, I want you guys to let me know um, what was the most memorable thing that you remember from my vlogs. Like, is, is it a certain episode or you can be like the episode where you did, I don't know, went sledding with Gatsby in the snow. This is my 740th vlog and I can't believe I kept up with it for so long. It was a huge challenge 
but I always had the dream of doing this and I just kept pursuing my dream and I think this is the outcome after 10 years. Look at that corgi body. Good morning, everybody. Today, my family is still visiting and I'm gonna be meeting up with them. We're gonna go on a hike and take Gatsby along with us. Gatsby, do you wanna go on a hike? Going on the Devil's Slide Coastal Trail. This highway is only for pedestrians now. It used to be a highway, but now you can just walk on it. Isn't that cool? Just in case it gets too hot, we brought the wagon so we can pull Gatsby around. I've heard the rumor, I've heard the talk on the town. They say you're alone, they say that you ain't sound. But I don't believe any of that. I've got a whole Right there. We made it to the end. Okay, so we're just gonna turn around and go back and Gatsby's gonna ride in the cart. Okay, we just made it back. I just dropped Gatsby off. Now I'm gonna grab some lunch with my friend Johnny. We're gonna get some pho at a, some, apparently a really good place. This is gonna be pho 90. <laughs> you know it's good because the Vietnamese place always has to have a number next to it that makes no sense. Pho 90. Filet mignon. Vietnamese style. Oh, look, look. This is my pho. And I got all the toppings here. Got it with the flank inside the basil. <laughs> Pretty good. Try this. <laughs> Try this. <laughs> we survived. It was so good. Now I'm kind of in a food coma. Johnny's like about to fall asleep. Guess what just came in the mail? Our enamel mugs, Gatsby. These were supposed to come for Corgi Con, but they never made it in time. So they made it now. We had a pre order going. in a bubble wrap. Ta-da! They are enamel mugs. That means like they're like the metal camping mugs. They look really good. Look, there's a picture of Gatsby on both sides. They're super durable since they're metal. Oh, look, the bottom. And they're really lightweight. What's your favorite tea? Mine is the jasmine pearls. And then they open up. Since it's green tea, we set it to 175 degrees because you don't want to burn the tea leaves. In the jail cells, you know, they're like hitting the can like this. Oh yeah, ar across the bars. You can be like that. <laughs> but with a corgi mug instead, what a good idea. <laughs> it can hold 17 ounces, which is actually a lot more than a regular cup. This is a regular mug here. Um, this one holds 12 ounces of liquid. Then I have like this jumbo size. This one holds 14 ounces. And then this one holds 17 ounces. It looks like it's the same size, but it's because this one is narrower. This is a wider mug here. Check it out with the tea inside. It looks so nice and cozy. Ah, that's good. As you guys saw in the last 
vlog, I released some new merchandise, including the Apex Predator shirt over here with Ligoplorodon, Megalodon, and Corgi Don. Now that we have the cups, we can start shipping out all the pre-orders. Anna from Brolson, Texas ordered a lot of stuff. The Take It Easy shirt, beautiful. The Year of the Corgi shirt. The Apex Predator shirt, the one that I'm wearing right now. She got one of the mugs. She also got every single bag. Yeah. Gatsby's Corgi close-up bag, the yellow take it easy bag, the Corgi Galaxy bag. My personal favorite, I really like this take it easy one. Got it. Thanks Anna, package is coming to you. Danielle from Forks, Washington. Apex Predator t-shirt, Heather Navy. She ordered the tank top. She also ordered our take it easy shirt. Order's on its way now. Watch how much can fit in this bag. See, they do fit a lot. Woo! He's running away! <laughs> Time to do an aquarium update. I had algae on the glass and I just scraped it. I think it's time for us to add the sand. It's been a while. So I have over here live sand. It helps keep the ecosystem going. The tank is actually doing pretty well. I love this guy here. My torch coral that's on the side here is doing super good. It's super happy. It has like multiple heads now. I'm gonna do like a five gallon water change because I only have five gallons of water. And I'm just gonna do it the super lazy way, <laughs> which is use a gallon jug and then just take five gallons out this way. Once the water level's a little bit lower, it'll be easier to add the sand. Yeah, Gatsby. I like hiding. The way that we do it is you put it in a cup. Beautiful white sand. So we added the sand in, so now we can have our five gallons back. And then after this, the tank should look really beautiful again. Okay, this is after a few hours. It looks so much better with the sand, don't you think so? I'm happy with how it's looking right now. Finally time for me to head off to the gym. I'm gonna hit some chest today. So, I will see you guys there. Welcome to today's gym tip. Today I thought I'd go over the two main movements for working out the chest. This is the press versus the fly. When working out the chest, it's important to work out the muscles using different angles, grips, and movements. The chest press and chest fly refer to your arm, hand, and elbow movements. Right now, I'm doing a chest press, in which I'm moving my hand and elbows in mainly a forward and back movement while pressing with my chest. A fly, on the other hand, is more like the movement of hugging a giant barrel. The elbows make a rounder motion, and so do the hands. Instead of pressing with your chest, it's more like a squeeze. Another way to think of it, imagine a chest press like throwing a punch, and a chest fly is like throwing a hook. Make sure to incorporate both movements into your chest workout in order to develop a fuller chest, and that's your gym tip for the week! I wanted to give you guys an update on Gatsby's weight. He is still at 25, 25 and a half pounds. Once the dog reaches your goal weight, don't increase their meals. Like, don't increase the food. Just give the same amount. But what you can do is start introducing treats. Is it time for your treat? You want your chicken jerky? He's like, oh my gosh. What I've been doing is he was like choking this. So what I do is I just break off little pieces. I just throw them all over the apartment. <laughs> He's over here. He's over there. Come this one here. Chicken jerky party. Congratulations! <laughs> we got this a long time ago. In May. Let's see what's in here. Look at this, Gatsby. Your favorite look tennis balls. My name is Mason. I am writing from Tampa, Florida. Look at this sticker. Nope. Are we gonna play with these tennis balls? Can I have a bag? Here we go. Here we go. Are you ready, Gatsby? We're gonna do all six. Ready, set. <laughs> He's like, what? Thanks so much, Mason. Gatsby loves them. Okay. Driving right now to Costco to grab some stuff for dinner. Okay, you guys, we made it into Costco. Let's go. Oh my gosh, look at this. 
I should carry this to the gym. Oh, there's a star next to it. That means it's discontinued. Take a thumb. Broccoli. Apparently red cups. That's only a thing in America. I was watching this British channel and they're like, oh my gosh, we're gonna have an American party with red cups. <laughs> Wood fired garlic. Mm. You guys, it's a corgi. Let's head back home. So we made it back home. I thought that I would show you guys the dinner that I always make. I tend to make this pretty much like almost every night. I thought I would share with you guys the recipe because it's one, very easy. Two, it's pretty healthy. After I eat it, I feel really good. Overall, it's a really good like fitness meal to make. I made it for my parents um, when they were visiting me and they were like, this is really good. Like, we need the recipe for this. Okay, so first off, you have to have rice already made. That's step one. Get our chicken thighs. It's boneless, skinless. Kitchen scissors. The way to air fry chicken, the best way is to cut it into smaller pieces. Um, for chicken thighs, I would just cut it in half. Extra virgin olive oil. You just need enough so that all the chicken gets covered in the olive oil. Bag up, slide the chicken. When you open the bag, you want to roll open edges like this. I really like this one. Wood fired garlic from Kinders. I should be wearing an apron for this. Ta da! Like that much. Extra onion powder. Onion powder is always good with chicken. Salt. Well, but mix, mix, mix. Meanwhile, we're gonna preheat the air fryer. No. When you make more chicken thighs, you can reuse the bag and there's already seasoning in it a little bit so you just kind of like mix it and add a little bit more, you top it off. If you're not going to eat all of it, you can of course save it for later in the refrigerator and then just throw it into the air fryer when you're ready. He's like, I like chicken. You gotta do a preheat dance. <laughs> air fryer preheat. He's like, I'm gonna go away. <laughs> you got the message. It's preheated! Okay. Again, you roll the sides over here. So when you stick your hand back in, you're not hitting the, the edges. Place the chicken inside. These are all really small pieces. For this much, we we'll do 11 minutes. Start. Okay, so we did 360 for 11 minutes. If the thighs are bigger or you're putting a lot more in, you can do it for 12 minutes. We will flip in six minutes. Everything. Alright. So next I can start on the broccoli. Steaming the broccoli, of course, is the healthiest. Get some hot water out. We just put like one inch of hot water. So this is already really hot water. So then I'm just gonna bring it to a boil. My mom was like, can you make like all the vegetables from now on? She's like, how did you make it so good? Spoiling. So then we just take our broccoli, stick it over and steam it. I steam it for four minutes. Now that I've like done that meal prep and everything, I kind of wish that I started eating correctly a lot sooner because it really made the biggest difference. I use this avocado oil spray. Ta-da! That's it. Squeeze some lemon juice over it. Everything's coming together. Salt, pepper. Chicken is done. Look, that looks pretty good, right? It's just gonna make the chicken a little bit more lemony. It's not like a heavy, saucy chicken. If you're looking to lose weight, I would put less rice. If you want to be super healthy, you should do chicken breast, but chicken thigh tastes way better. Broccoli that seasons super well, and then we have some rice. After you eat this, you feel energized and ready. Like, you can work out after this. Like, after I eat it, I always feel, like, good. What I like to do is grab a little bit of chicken, grab, like, a broccoli, and eat those together. It just tastes really healthy, but it tastes like good healthy. The air fryer cooks the chicken like um, very evenly. After 10 years of living out of college, this is like a good life hack recipe to try out. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, right now I'm gonna head over to grab some gelato with my friends, Acacia and Johnny. After eating all that healthy food, you know, we need to eat some gelato. Sweet gelato. 
durian. What is this jackfruit? Jackfruit. What is this one? I don't know. <laughs> it's sour sauce. Sour. Does it taste sour sauce? Yeah. I don't know what sour sauce tastes like. <laughs> it's like sour. And this one's not sour. Did <laughs> you guys hear the dog barking? <laughs> That's the dog that's on the, the picture that I have. <laughs> Fashion. That's the famous doggy. Fashion. <laughs> Open up a store and like put up pictures of Gatsby everywhere. I know. And put Gatsby's, like Gatsby is the mascot of your store. Oh, like, Gatsby is the mascot of my <laughs> store. <laughs> <laughs> and then Johnny can wear a onesie and Oh, an advertise outside? Oh, sounds good. Okay, I agree. <laughs> okay, we are headed out. I had lunch here at the pho place. It was like right here. <laughs> it's a strip mall with all Vietnamese things. That's kind of cool. You guys, how do you pronounce the store there? Honestly, I think it's just someone's name. Big Lien. I like was like, wait, are my eyes correct? Like, what does that say? Have you been playing with your new balls? <laughs> well, that's gonna do it for us for our vlog today. Gatsby, I've been vlogging for one decade. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I want to thank everybody. Even if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for coming and watching and hanging out with us. And I hope you had a really good time. Oh, don't forget to check out CorgiOnFleet.com to get all of our latest Corgi merchandise. Our summer merch drop just happened. The mugs are now available and shipping out. I hope you had a really good time hanging out with us. I hope you learned something and I hope we were able to brighten your day. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan.